Hey guys, this is Viron from Speaker of the Stars, and today we are doing another live video. As you can see, it's not sped up, and we will be going through the sketchbook today. I know I've been doing a couple of sketchbook tours lately, it's because I kind of went through these sketchbooks sort of at the same time. So, I am finishing them a bit faster than what I did when I was in college. So, this means you get more sketchbook videos. I am going to edit the angle a little bit, just because it's a little bit too angled. Right, let's start. So this Rodeo sketchbook was blank. It had it had 80 sheets, it was 80 GSM papers, so it, it wasn't particularly thick. Um, it doesn't really hold water too well, it tends to crinkle with wet medium, so I feel like it's really just meant for sketches colored pencils even the paper is very very smooth so it could work colored pencils i just don't think you'll be able to do too many layers with it maybe but it's okay i mean it's a sketchbook so i first started using it for inktober 2017 i did do a sketchbook tour for this challenge um in inktober in october 2017 so you can just like check the description for the link for that so we will be skipping to the middle of this sketchbook right into march 2018 so i first used this in 2017 ended it at december 2017 and the next time i used it was march 2018 just i had another notebook and this sketchbook i was trying to fill at that time so march 2018 so the first drawing I did on this was for the Flora series. Now if you're not familiar, I am doing a series of art on my channel that I do every month. And it's based on the, the birth flower for that month. And I tried to do something based on the theme and the message that the flower is trying to portray. So the first flower is for February's Violet, which is this one. I'll put that on the side over here. As you can see, the face did change a little bit based on the sketch. It was supposed to be a bit more elongated. Um, the pose is pretty similar. Um, I didn't go through many iterations before I went to the final piece. The next is March's Daffodil. And again, I, I think I was trying to catch up with the floracies at this time. So I did, of course, write first what the meaning is. Um, I did quite a bit of sketching the pose, the flower itself. I had some difficulty with the color, so you can see that up here. And March's daffodil ended up like this. Now, I will do a tour of the floracies once it's done, once December is over. But this is just like the behind the scenes, I guess. Because a lot of my works, I do thumbnails before I actually get to doing them. Now, we have an OC of mine, just random sketching. I think this was another random sketch. I just wanted to draw up poses and stuff like that. I think this is meant to be for Beediver. I'm not sure. Oh, this is Night of the Round ta Table Papalot. <laughs> so, if you watched my previous sketchbook tour, the one right before this, it was my watercolor sketchbook. I drew Lancelot from Night of the Round Table. It's a part of another series I've been trying to do. Now, Lancelot was stuck for a while because I didn't know what kind of pose I wanted to put in him. So, I ended up with several thumbnails, as you can see. This is what I ended up with. And Papalot ended up looking like this. If you want to see the final art for this, it's actually just on my channel. Where I do actually talk a bit more in depth about my process and how I think about it and um, what I felt about that piece. So the next was Flora series April, which was Sweet Pea. It was this. So it didn't it turned out pretty similar. Um it looked a bit more lonely and sad in the sketch, but it's okay. I don't mind. And I don't know, it's I guess this was pretty random, I think. I, I don't think I was doing anything in particular here. I was sketching, I don't know, something. Now, I, I developed two OCs. Um, they're both dogs. <laughs> you don't really see my OCs a lot on my channel, especially the ones that have more animalistic features like this, because I don't really have 
too many vaguely human-esque and i don't really use them as subjects for my drawings nowadays that much um yeah it's just i don't know i was trying something out i think with light and shadows um i don't know i'm not sure what i was trying to do now, as you know as you notice i like doing like a one or two drawings or one or two themes per page i don't really like filling it up with different small drawings i know a lot of people do that to like maximize the paper but i don't know i like keeping my pages sort of like neatly sectioned off so if i want to do a headshot like this even if there's space here unless i was kind of desperate i really wouldn't do anything here unless it's a similar thing or a similar person or a similar theme like with the flora series like this or the full body sketch i just want it to be the full body sketch it's wasteful maybe i might try to remedy that a bit more in my next um sketchbook but we'll see i wrote down an order for food um one of my characters again one of my favorites actually i'll admit it and then the flower series for me which was the lily of the valley now i had a very clear image right away what i wanted to do with lily of the valley so it was just a matter of getting what kind of details i want in the piece or what kind of face i wanted her to have so it was very close to the thumbnail and then you have knights of the round table bediver bediver was another one of those where i kind of struggled what pose i wanted for them bediver actually might be one of my favorite knights aside from uh, male author but we'll talk about him later i guess so he went through several iterations first i drew his sketch like this and I had to note that oh it, the left arm is the ergot lamp so it has to be flipped it, has, it can't be this orientation so i flipped in the next page i did the full body just so i understood his arm more um did his face a little bit i like this sketch as beautiful i don't know he's, he looks cute here so i don't think i ended i don't think i drew the final sketch for beautiful in the sketchbook i think i just ended up with drawing this so that's my final art for beautiful again the videos on my channel if you want to see that and then this is for something else it was like actually from an inktober piece um it was inspired by it at least let's see if i can find it it's pretty early in the series here it was sort of inspired by this i wanted to develop the concept a bit more but i wanted to do it maybe digitally so it's just there for now and then i randomly sketched izuku uh, midoriya izuku from boku no hero academia i started work so this was the only set of pens colored stuff i could get my hands on and then i drew on a different sketchbook it was actually my work sketchbook so the, that page shouldn't be there so i ripped it out put it here instead it's just of my original characters with slightly longer hair i tend to draw them with really short hair so I messed around with them having long hair, like a ponytail or like a clip and stuff like that. Oh, this is the Bediver one. This is the one. Right? 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 I think? Yeah. I think this is what I ended up with Bediver. Um, again, it went through several phases of sketching, trying to find what pose I want. Had a bit of an art block. But I got somewhere in the end. Now this one is my mermaid drawing now where is that i have too many of them what they call sketchbooks and pads and stuff like that so i do tend to lose where i put them sometimes so i drew that in my cans and watercolor sketch handmade sketchbook thing so yeah it's just, it's just there it was my mermaid piece actually so this is my stance and it's self-made um binded only so that's there uh i just wanted to practice drawing from a back view i guess like someone standing and viewing them from behind instead of in front this 
this was supposed to be a post for something, but I wasn't able to replicate this view. I have some difficulty in perspective, so it's still a challenge. Again, B Diver again making an appearance. I sketched him so many times. Like, guess you could see how many times I had to pause and rework his thing before I got to the final piece. I know this is the last B Diver. Now, this part compass. By the time this video goes up, I am not sure if I've finished the piece already, but it's a traditional piece that I wanted to work on that's sort of tied to my channel in a sense. Like, the, the theme is very much tied to my channel's like logo and branding, but I'm not done with it as of recording. I was barely finished with the sketching phase. I feel that I'll probably do it again, like for the third time, but we'll see. Now, this is the flower series for Rose. Rose was is again another straightforward piece. Um, I knew what I wanted to do with it, sort of, and I did it. So that's Rose. I got a new set of micron pants. Like I bought that recently somewhat. And I wanted to test, you know, you should test your new materials. Again, my it's one of my newest OCs just like playing around with this design and stuff like that. Um, random sketching. Knights of the Round Table Morjed. I know this video is up already so I can show it now. Uh, I had a different pose like a, that like that from down Worm's eye pose but it looked like the hey uh, guy. You, know, you get the hey ya uh, meme thing. So I changed to a more typical pose instead, and then we got more red. So then you can just look at my channel for that. Uh, cuddling, cuddling pose. I was obsessed with this pair for a couple of months. <laughs> Even my best friend was like, you are so obsessed, stop. <laughs> Random sketch, I think. Oh, it's moon prints. So the moon prints, uh, it's a random, slightly random concept I thought up of, and you can just watch the video, but as of recording, it's not up yet, but I think I have it scheduled in the next week or two, so you'll probably see it first before this video. So the moon prints is a concept I wanted to draw, like a prince or a guy resembling the moon instead of a typical feminine avatar. I went through several posting sketches for him before I settled on that one. So we have the moon pins here. And then Larkspur. Now if you've watched the video for Larkspur, uh man, it was a bit of a I explained that a lot that I had a lot of mental block with Larkspur. Like, I loved the theme, but I really couldn't figure out what kind of sketch, what kind of pose, what kind of vibe I wanted to go with it. Even though it was very straightforward, it's a very lively, refreshing type of piece. So Larkspur gave me a bit of a hard time. I sketched so many poses and then landed with this one, which I refined to this one, which turned out to be this one. So that's that. Not sure what this is. <laughs> Join. Okay, at this point, I kind of got hospitalized for two days. It wasn't anything too serious. It's, I'm fine. It was just a really horrible cold that made me faint. Maybe a couple of times. <laughs> and I was stuck in the emergency room for 12 hours because the hospital was completely filled up. There were no rooms and we had to wait for... Um, the people in the hospital to leave. Thankfully, it was a Friday, so there were a lot of people going home. So I could have, I, I got a room after 12 hours. So I sketched random poses like someone dancing. This is my OC actually, but it's just he's my dancer of the lot. So let's leave him there. Again, Everett Warden, that OC I think I was kind of obsessed over. Not sure who that is. I was so bored, I started doing calligraphy of sorts with a red pen. Todoroki Shoto! <laughs> Surprisingly, I haven't done any serious Boku no Hero fan art yet. It takes me a very long time 
to be in a fandom before I am compelled to do fan art. So like, that would be like Fate, that would be Tales of, like The Abyss or Hysteria, that would be like, is there anything else that I'm, Vocaloid, that's another thing I've done fan art for. Talk and Vanbu are very much deep into that. Um, yeah, so I am starting to draw Shoto and Midoriya. So I feel like you might see a Boku no Hero fan art from me sometime soon. Shoto! Actually, if you watch Boku no Hero, tell me in the comments who your favorite uh, character is. Like, is it Izuku? Is it Ochako? Is it Tenya? Is it Shoto, like me? Or is it Bakugo? Um, like, just let me know. Random face. This is an interesting face. Even though it's empty, I might draw something here eventually. Um, I started from the nose, and then did the eyes, the lips, and then before I did this face shape, because she's the other way around, I do the circle for the head, do the face shape, and then fill it in. But this time, it's different. It's the other way around, so that's a bit more realistic looking, I think. So that's interesting. And then this, I wanted to practice my... Because I did this calligraphy thing that it was self-thought. Thought. Thought. <laughs> Um, let's see if I can grab it. I bought this from Craft Central. Now, it's just a basic brush clip um, practice workbook where it teaches you how to do some very basic brush clipping. And I do have my favorite class of the artist pens, which are uh, brush nib pens. Let me grab one real quick. Now, these are, you've seen this on my videos for art, but they are actually very well intended for, come on, do I need to do the vlogger thing? Oh my gosh, I really do, god damn it. Anyway, it's a brush tip, so it's meant to give you really fine and varied strokes. And I got into that calligraphy thing recently because my parents bought me um, like these nibs and an ink and ink so I wanted to practice that with brush pen first so for the last two pages I just wanted to get back into that and then that's an end of my sketchbook so I ended it on July 2018 so it took me March, April, May, June five months I guess including June but I started at the end of March so maybe four months to finish this sketchbook which is faster than any other sketchbook that I've ever used. The last time I finished a sketchbook that fast, I was in high school. I had a lot of time. I didn't really... I interacted a bit, quite a bit with my classmates, but I didn't really spend a lot of time making, like, you know, um, telling stories or going out with them. I spent a lot of time at home. Like, I still do even now, but now I'm working. Um, so my production of art slowed down quite a bit during college, and then because of like I was super busy and had like organizations I was into because I joined organizations, so I my production for art slowed down. Now that I'm working, um, it it started ramping up because I'm doing like the one, the one video a week thing, so I it's given me a schedule to draw. I've been trying to push myself to maybe draw twice a week, hopefully eventually every day, nowadays even just for sketching. And that's what I'm going to try to do with this sketchbook. Now this cover is familiar, you might have seen it before if you're a long time viewer. And this cover might be familiar if you watched my sketchbook cover video. Now I made this in preparation for me finishing this sketchbook. It was a normal craft notebook. You can see inside it's normally craft. I drew on it. I wanted to make it like a really cool cover. So I did that. And I finally wrote down July 2018. So hopefully in this one, I want to try filling up the page a bit more. Starting here. Um, more drawings in the page. Unless it's a themed page like with the Flora series. And hopefully once a day. I hope I can do it. I thought, yeah. Anyway, we are nearing the end of the video. It, I've been blabbering for almost 30, 20 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you around.